Hi there, this is Modesta Mahiga Muguni from Purpose and Excellence. And we're continuing with the Master Plan class sneak peek. This is step six. We've been talking for the past six days about the questions people ask during the Master Plan class. What is the Master Plan class, Modesta? The Master Plan class is your bridge between where you are and where you want to go. So whether it is that you've been in business and you want to improve your business or you're starting out in business or you are transitioning in your career, whether looking to get into a higher position, moving industries, the master plan class, did you, did you say class? class, you know, gets you to start in discovering your purpose to deliver excellence in the marketplace. So I don't want to dwell too much on that. You can go to purposeandexcellence.africa slash master plan to see the master plan class. But I just want to right, get right into this topic today. And I have been calling today's session be present, but I've decided, and you'll see under this video, I have called it be visible. And so we're talking about ways that you can stand out in competition without being too overtly, you know, selling yourself and marketing yourself, but truly just who you are and how you are with others, you know, going before you. And we started off with know what gets to you. That was step one. What gets to you? Because whatever gets to you, and you have overcome, you have found a system and you have a method in which you can help other people cross over. They will find you to be credible. They'll find you to be authentic. You will be one of us. That's how your customer will see you because you've been through it before. Step two, add value. Don't just do what's in the fine print, you know, the minimum possible, but truly be in it for the customer which is why step three is identify their pain. You cannot really add value and be in it for them without understanding what their pain is. Do not assume you know what their pain is just because just generally people have this challenge generally. No assumptions, ask them, what are some of the issues that you're dealing with? In this wide area, if there was this one thing that I could do for you, what would it be? And what does that look like in employment? In employment, this would look like you saying you are in an industry, you know, speaking to the organization, you are in a market, you are in a niche area, and some of the challenges you're facing are these. So as an organization, you know, culturally, and somebody just asked me on Instagram, like, how do I, where do I ask this question during my interview? Do I ask them about their industry? Do you know, not during the interview. You research about this organization before you go to the interview. You know, as much as you are being assessed, you should assess the organization that you want to work with. And so check out their culture. Look at where they have come from. You know, what has their, their trajectory been the past five, 10 years? Where do they seem to want to go? What is some of the language they're using about their future? What is some of the language they're using about the market, the competition, about the region, literally economic region in which that business is? For you to gauge as to whether or not with where you want to go in life you better know where you want to go in life whether this organization will be the organization to get you there and so you find out their pain no assumptions what are the issues over and above what's on the job description if you're looking for employment over and above you know what seems to be the challenge with us entrepreneurs is the challenge with women is the challenge with living in the city is do not assume, go and ask and ask a representative enough sample of people so that you know what truly is the challenge. Hi, Noma. Hey, Victor. Welcome. Hi, Wema. So that was day three, step three. And then step four, know your customer. And we went into the details of knowing your customer, gender and marital status and, and you know, education and income status and, and do they have children and where do they live? Are they in urban? Are they outside? And you're thinking, Modesta, that gets a little personal. It must get personal. There is no way that you would be able to cater to them unless you know the details and not just how much disposable income do they have for my services or my business? No, 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 no. Get to know their lifestyle. Map them out like the government maps, you know, its people out. That way you can also look at everything else that influences their patterns and their interests and, and their recreational time. It's not just, oh, so would they buy from me because I sell it this way or are they buying from someone else? No, no, no. Understand everything about their life. So one of the things that I've had to humble myself and find out is, well, you're asking people to give you an hour, an hour and a half of their time. They can only give that to you evenings. And so I have to keep very odd hours. 
and I am in a completely different part of the world at the moment and I'm serving most of my clients in a different part of the world, that means I am up and asleep and up again at very odd hours, but that's what works for my client. By narrowing down to the client, you will do what we spoke about yesterday. Step five, tailor your solution. You cannot tailor your solution to a specific demographic unless you know them well. And some people are saying, ah, oh, Modesta, but I'm going to isolate a lot of people by doing that. If I narrow down that much, I want to touch school youth and I want to be able to go into businesses. And I also want to touch all those women that are in transition, you know, between life and, and work. And I also would like to speak to the men and in, in leadership who don't have anyone who they can really speak to. You can't. You need to narrow down so that your business, when, when the right person you're targeting, the right group you're targeting, Hears you and says, where have you been? Do you have some candid cameras in my home? Like, how is it that you're speaking my life? How is it that you know the details of my frustrations? How? Well, I went and I, I got Facebook on you. You know, I created an algorithm that studies you. And now that I know your profile, actually, speaking of Facebook, you can get down to the details. You can ask Facebook if you're advertising, you know, go to women, in this age bracket that are married, that have this education you know, um, uh, background, that earn this much, you can get down to the details of who you're profiling and geographically where they are, you know, down to a city, to a town, so that, you know, to make sure that your message goes exactly where it's targeted. Now, it doesn't mean you say no to anybody else that comes in that doesn't fit that profile, but it just means you know your demographic well enough to continuously speak to them then you don't have to go out selling yourself like crazy. You don't have to always want to be marketing yourself. You can just be and get to know them so well that everything you say does not come back to you void. It goes and does exactly what you sent it to do because you're going to be effective. You know your target. What does this look like in employment, Modesta? What does it look like to tailor my solution uh, you know, to, to businesses or to the industry where I'm trying to distinguish myself as the go-to person? This means that, as I answered somebody uh, um, on Instagram just a little while ago, this means that you do a whole lot of research. You do not wait until that transaction, that time of transaction, whether it's an interview or it's uh, you know, a panel conversation. No, you go before and you find out who are they. Hey Val, hi, who's that? Alhaji, who are they? Um, how, uh, you know, do they have a niche market that they're, that they're approaching? Who else is doing this? What are some of their concerns? Where are they doing really great? What are some areas that you know, they, they could improve on? And where do they want to go? And position as they are, profile as they are, do a SWOT analysis on them. Do a pestle on them. Position as they are. You know, what is the trajectory they're taking? Are they really you know, tech savvy? Do they really incorporate tech in, in, in their operations and the way they position themselves? You know, go into depth so that when you come in as a person looking for a job, as a person who wants to distinguish themselves in the market, when you come in, you're not just talking about, yes, I see the job description asks this and I have done it before and I will do it again for you. You go up higher and you think the business and not the job description. You say to them, I understand what you're going through. I mean, first of all, you address the issue of the job because people did not ask you to come in and speak about anything other than that. But show an understanding that is wider than the parameter of the job, of the restrictions of that job. And so, so I understand this role is this, and I have experience having done that for this part. And I also did that, you know, uh, on a board I served for this nonprofit, and there was a time there was a steering committee that was putting together an initiative um, in this sector, and I was one of the members of this steering committee appointed by blah blah blah. And, uh, you know, seeing where you're going and it just uh, recently I was reading this, this ADB report and some of the investments I want to do in projects and this and this. And so I understand with what you want me to do this, you know, that this organization is positioned to do X, Y, Z. People will be like, this one's a keeper. I mean, okay, fine. Somebody, somebody might be intimidated and be like, get them out. They're going to take my job soon. Well, let's pray that, you know, you don't come off obnoxious and you know, you don't mean one of those, but they will just say, perfect. This isn't just a person who's going to do the minimum at the end of the month and say, where's my pay? This is going to be a person who will add value for a very long time, which leads us to today, which I had been calling be present thus far, but I'd rather call it be visible. What does that mean when you want to stand out in competition uh, without overtly selling yourself and marketing yourself? Be visible. 
That means that if I Google your name, if I ask people who are in that industry, if I, you know, go and, and I'm going to the professional association and I seek, you know, someone out, let's say, let's say I'm parting with, you know, millions and millions of dollars here and I seek someone out who will vouch for you other than the references you just gave. But yeah, because people sometimes give references, all those that they know would speak well of them. Somebody will say, oh yes, I know that person. Either I have worked with them or I've heard of them by reputation. What a stellar person. You know, I would do business with them. I would recommend that. And so be visible is saying when you want to stand out in competition, it's really good that you could actually be seen first because you need to be seen before you can stand out, right? I mean, you need to be there at all, but it also gives extra assurance. Let's say it's about business. If other businesses can say they have done business with you and have had success with you, then this one knows this person is not going to try to learn on my watch on my money. They're going to come here. They know what the job requires. You know, they'll hit the ground running. Equally so in employment. If you have references and you have referrals and you have goodwill, we'll talk about referrals later, uh, from industry experts that they respect, it's a done deal. And I'm sorry that sometimes it seems like, but that's not objective. They're not giving me a chance. Listen, there is the objective assessment and evaluation of people, but there is also a very important role in saying, okay, I can assess you and evaluate you and you may look good in this simulation, in this environment where you know, you know, you're, you're being watched, but what are you going to be like three months, six months from now? I need to know. I don't want any crazy surprises because it is a whole lot of money to recruit someone, see that you've done it wrongly and start that process all over again. And so referrals, recommendations, you Google a name, you see, you know, the name associated with similar pursuits as that to which they're coming to you for, whether it is a business or whether it is an individual seeking employment or seeking to position themselves and distinguish themselves in the market. And so be visible. Will we find you? And when we find you, will we find information related to this thing? I've made this, this uh, comment about politicians. They might come back and bite me in the tooth should I one day want to go into politics. But you hear someone say, I will do this and I vouch if you vote for me, I'll do X, Y, Z. And I'll... Pray tell Mr. Ms. Politician, have you done this before? Even at a small, you know, you know I don't know, in a small role, can, can I find out from people can I go back as far as school and, you know, university and your first job and in the community? And, you know, if I were to ask around you, would they say that you are the same person? Would they say that you have been visibly doing things related to what you're speaking about now? Or will they say they want to do what? Hmm. Huh. All the best to them with that. I didn't see that coming at all. I didn't even know that they had an interest in that area. If your parents, your spouse, uh, people you've worked with before, if, I mean, I mean, not to say God can just pluck you out of a situation and plant you in something else, but I don't think he, he doesn't work in, in vacuum. You will have shown traits. You will have shown um, li the likelihood of you getting into this area all along. Character does not form out of nowhere. Um, a passion and, and purpose does not just, you know, spring up. You may wake up to all that you are and package it together, but it was in you all along. And so being visible says, if I were to ask around, if I were to Google you, I will see that you are about this now, but I can trace you 10, 15 or so years back and I'll see you're about this even then. I had a friend, something I posted just a, an hour or so ago uh, about my journey in entrepreneurship. I was talking about how I, I never, you know, I never bling it. I mean, I just make things work. But, and, and so I was talking about, you know, if you're an entrepreneur and you, you, you know, you haven't really been investing in yourself, don't worry, you're on a trajectory somewhere and one day you have all that you want if that's the thing that you aspire for. And one of my friends who's known me since I was in secondary school said, I remember 15 years ago when you were just starting, I don't even know if you'd even started implementation. You were just starting out. You were talking about these things and you know what you're going to do. And you know, she's saying, I'm seeing it coming through. Keep going. So if somebody can just say, she's been talking about this for 15, 20 years, 
you know, they've been doing this in a voluntary role, um, you know, supporting these organizations or had worked for somebody else. Great leaders are great followers. Had worked for somebody else and had done this. Well, then your visibility, present, past, assures people and distinguishes you from your competition that you are in it for the long haul, that you are invested in this thing and therefore they can trust their vision, they can trust their organization, they can trust their money, they can trust their people with you. So I hope that has helped you and has spoken to you. Please do, I haven't been asking people to share. Honestly, guys, I'm so passionate about what I do. I forget about all the sales and marketing thing I'm supposed to do, like sharing groups. I tried that at the beginning and after all, I was like, ah, man, if they see it of value, they'll share with other people. But you know, yeah, please do share this with other people. I actually especially would like to ask people who are not in Tanzania, where I come from and where I mostly have people I connect with to share in their countries, in their groups, because I'm looking to reach out to Africa and maybe my roots and not as well established as I wish, but this is you know, one of the ways that I would like to do it, to ask you, if you would, help me reach those 100 million African leaders that, that I know are going to propel Africa to be the leading economic region in the world. By the way, you wanna know why, how I know that? You can inbox me. But if you wanna know more about the Master Plan class, if you'd like to join the Master Plan class, I do have an offer, join with a friend and pay 50% only for both of you, go to purposeandexcellence.africa slash masterplan and you can register or you can send me an email for a complimentary consultation with me. Have an amazing day and evening. Until tomorrow when we talk about number seven, be human. Ooh, I've got a good story related to that one. Step eight, deliver excellence. Step nine, solicit feedback. And step 10, ask for referrals. We touch on referrals today uh, when we're talking about being visible. Referrals are a game changer. I don't know if you've been following me for a while, but I am where I am because I've had a lot of people, a lot of people taking risks on me, referring me, and they have catapulted my career. I cannot stress enough referrals. I have been talking about what I've been talking about for decades. I have been just as passionate, just as deliberate, just as you know, excellent in my execution, but it was referrals that catapulted me and my business. And that has kept my name afloat and my God, of course, but referrals are key. And so I can't wait to share on that day. All right, enjoy your evening, your day. Until tomorrow, keep well.